Hi, this video is going to be about how winterizing your jet ski and you know there's a lot of things that can go involved with uh, storing and winterizing but this is actually going to focus on just one thing in particular and that is getting it ready, getting all the water out of it and then putting antifreeze into it so that it can survive the freeze. So I'm going to do the Kawasaki here on this video. If you're interested later I'm going to do that Yamaha, we'll put it in the second video uh, but I'm going to cover feeding in uh, antifreeze and flushing your system. So with that, uh, there's three main things I'm gonna cover. The very first one is just loosen your rear drain plugs. Make sure you drain out as much water as you can out of the jet ski engine bay. You can do that through the drain plugs, putting it on an incline. Two, you can get in, you can dry it, let it air out. Okay, but just make sure that's all clean. Second, it's gonna be blowing the bilge pump clean and just making sure that's not blocked and doesn't have any of the water in that. So I'll have a video segment on that. And the last one is going to be the most significant one, and that is going to be flushing your coolant system, flushing your cooling system with antifreeze so that it's ready for winter storage. And to do that, that's going to take up place almost entirely up front, right here under the hatch. So for flushing it with antifreeze, it's a whole lot similar to flushing it, like let's say you took it out of salt water, you wanted to flush out the system as well. It is going to be using this fitting here and then attaching a garden hose to it, turning the jet ski on first, then sending the water through this system until it's completely rinsed out. In our case, we're actually going to rinse out any water and replace it with antifreeze. So to do that, since my garden hose doesn't naturally produce antifreeze, I've created a special pump uh, that I'll show you in a moment that I'll feed it instead. Okay, so simple enough, this attaches to a garden hose so you can flush it with water normally, but I'm going to be flushing it with antifreeze. So here we have the pump. I've cut a garden hose and I've attached it to a submerged uh, diesel pump that can also flow water. Already tested it out. And so we'll throw uh, our antifreeze into this bucket, pump it out. It's uh, feeding off of a battery and that's the way we're going to feed our antifreeze in. As for the antifreeze, we've got this pink stuff. It's basically RV antifreeze. It's used inside even the water systems of RVs. So it will slush up. It can even turn into a solid, but the key is it's supposed to not expand. So anyway, a little bit different than standard automotive antifreeze, but either one could work, but I'm gonna go with this. Here are your drain plugs. So you can make sure to keep those open, make sure all water that can come out of these is out of it. You don't need anything freezing inside your engine bay. Okay, one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn it on, run it just for a couple seconds and rev it just to see if I can expel any extra water that might be in the cooling system because then that's less water we have to dilute. <laughs> I'm using a five gallon bucket, but you could also just cut the tops off of these and just put the pump right into the canisters. But then you'd only be doing it at, uh, this is a gallon and a half at a time. Okay, hopefully, this is 4.5. Hopefully by the time it drains this bucket, we can see paint coming out the other side. So never start pumping into your jet ski until your jet ski is on. Don't do it. Uh, you can actually ruin the engine that way. So you need the jet ski on, and we're gonna turn it on even before I touch the switch to activate this.
raining. So we drank about four and a half gallons. I, you know, I'd feel comfortable putting in even a little bit more. I, I'm comfortable with the amount we got, just because we could see it shooting out the back, both pink, both out of the center, and also out of the side exhaust. So we're good. And that is how you can flush the system with antifreeze. Hope it helps.